done, we want to create a second layer that will become our outline. Take your lettering layer, swipe left on it, and tap Duplicate. Tap the bottom layer, tap it again, select Rename, and rename this layer Outline. That way we can keep things tidy. Make sure you have a dark color selected while we make some changes to the outline. For the purpose of you being able to see what we're doing, I'm going to make this layer blue. So with your outline layer selected, come over here and grab your magic wand tool. You want to click Gaussian Blur, select Layer, and now we're just going to slide our pencil along till we hit. You can see that it increases. We want to hold our pencil down and go to around 6%. So, okay, so I'm here at 6%. Now I'm gonna go back to my layer panel. I'm gonna click Select, Fill. And I'm gonna repeat this five to seven times, just tapping the layer, clicking Select, Fill. Select, Fill. Until you get a nice opaque outline. Now we can take our outline layer and turn it back to black. So grab black, tap select, and fill two or three times to make sure we get it all. Now we're gonna change our lettering to white. So there's two ways to do this. One of the really easy ones is to grab the magic wand tool, click hue, saturation, brightness, layer, and just take the brightness all the way up. That will prepare us for the next step when we add our long shadow. To create the long shadow, we are going to swipe left on our outline layer and duplicate it. Tap it, tap it again, and click rename. Rename this layer long shadow. Now we need to move this up a little so that we have room to create that long shadow. So you're gonna swipe right on every layer until they're all selected and use the arrow selection tool to shift it up to this corner. Then you can just tap the long shadow layer again. Now we're gonna grab the magic wand tool right here. And this time we're gonna use motion blur. Cl click layer and then use your pencil and drag it towards the bottom corner of your page. Maybe go around 40%. It doesn't have to be super precise. Then you're going to click the arrow and drag that layer into place. Just like before, we need to darken this. So we're going to tap the layer, click Select, Fill. Tap it again, Select, Fill. And again, I usually repeat this about five times. Okay, and then you might need to grab the arrow tool and slide it into place a little better since you can see it more now. Now that looks okay, but I like to give it a little more of a sticker effect. So to do that, all you really need to do is grab a monoline brush. Any monoline brush will work for this. I'm going to make it a bigger size, and then I'm just going to fill in any white space in the shadow. And then I also like to go around the edge and make it look just a little more sticker-like. And you can do that, um, just the fine art of eyeballing it is totally fine for this step. So I just go around and kind of keeping the same shape for the most part. Like here, I would probably close this up. And, or I think I'll actually close that like that and then that one like that. Whatever you think looks best. You're the artist, so it's okay to kind of make some decisions here to see what you think looks best. So just go through doing that until everything looks like you'd like it to. Something like that. I usually would take a little more time, but I don't want to have to have you sit here watching it. Um, and I think on my original version, I decided that looked best if I closed it 
in completely. If you two finger tap on your screen, you can easily go back a step like that. And now we're ready to add our illustrations. Thank you.